Okay, here's another differential equation question. We are told that the rate of increase, okay, in the number of bacteria in the culture, which is capital N at time t hours, is proportional to N. Write down a differential equation uh, connecting N and T. So, the rate of increase, so dN by dT, that's the rate, is proportional to N. So, it is proportional to N, like that, but the way we write that as an equation is dN by dT is equal to Kn, where K is a constant. Okay, so there's part uh, A done very easily. It says, given that initially there are N0 bacteria present in the culture, show that N is equal to N0 e to the kt, where k is a positive constant. Well, what we're told in part B, that when time is 0, N, the number in the culture, is equal to N0. So let's um, solve this differential equation firstly here. So dN by dt is equal to kn. We're going to separate variables and integrate, so 1 over capital N dn is equal to k dt, and we're integrating both. So therefore, ln n is going to be equal to uh, kt plus some constant plus another constant, as follows. And we know uh, when time is 0, n is equal to n0. So we can sub that in here. So ln of n0 is going to be equal to c. This will disappear. So um, we can replace this by ln n0. So ln n is going to be equal to kt plus ln n0. Okay, and we can uh, take the exponential of both sides. So this would be e to the ln n is equal to e to the kt plus ln n0. Now e to the ln n is simply n. And this here, we can write this as e to the kt e to the ln n0. Okay? Because e to the, you know, x plus y is clearly e to the x times e to the y. And so therefore n is equal to, well, e to the ln n0, that's just n0. And n0 multiplied by this is n0 e to the kt. And that's exactly what we were asked to do in part b for six marks, and we're done. Okay, now we're going to move on to uh, the rest of the question. I'm just going to rub this out for now because we've got um, that work written down in the question, so we don't need that in front of us. So, it says, given also that the number of bacteria present doubles every six hours, find the value of K. Okay, so it's telling us that the number of bacteria present doubles every six hours. So one thing you can say, you can say, therefore, that you knew that when T is equal to zero, N, the number of bacteria is equal to N zero. So therefore, you can say that when T is equal to, let's say, six, uh, the number of bacteria is now equal to 2n0. You could certainly say that is true. So, you had yourself the differential equation that n is equal to n0 e to the kt. So, if you substituted t is equal to 6 and n is equal to 2n0 in here, 2n0 equals n0 e to the um, 6k. Divide both sides by n0. So I would get that 2 is equal to e to the 6k. Take lens of both sides. Lun 2 is equal to 6k. And therefore k is equal to 1 sixth lun 2. And it asks us in the question to find the value of k. And we found the value of k. There's no point at writing it in a decimal notation. Keep it as a 6 lun 2. And then it says, find how long it takes for the number of bacteria to increase by a factor of 10, given your answer to the nearest minute. So we want to increase by a factor of 10 to the nearest minute. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is, um, this now is our K forever. We're going to write for part D, our uh, equation here, N, is clearly equal to N0E to the uh, KT, which is a sixth 
ln 2 multiplied by t. We have now find, found k. Now, four things to have increased by a factor of 10. We want n now to be equal to 10 n0, 10 times what initially was. So 10 n0 is equal to n0 e to the 6 ln 2 multiplied by t. Divide both sides by n0. So we would get 10 is equal to e to the 6 ln 2 multiplied by t. And then we could take the ln of both sides. So ln 10 is equal to, taking the ln of this, we get a 6 ln 2 multiplied by t. And therefore t is clearly ln 10 divided by a 6 ln 2. So we work that on our calculator. We work out ln uh, 10 divided by a 6 ln 2. And we get our answer. Remember, t is in, if we go back here, t is in hours. We get that t is equal to 19.9315687 hours. And it asked us to the nearest minute. So this is clearly time is therefore equal to 19 hours and 0.93 blah, blah, blah of an hour. So I'm going to multiply 0.93156 by 60. And it says that it's the nearest minute is 56 minutes and we're done. So time is 19 hours and 15, 56 minutes, and there we are, we're done with this question.